there it is. <laughs> Instant. Instant, man. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to catch inshore fish out of a mud hole. No, no, no. I'll do it. Just let me catch this fish. Let me catch that. Let me. Let me. It's a foregone conclusion he's oh, going to catch it. It's going to happen. Definitely going to happen. We got confidence today. And there it is. This might be okay. This one might be okay. Holy crap. No, he's nah. Felt better initially than what oh, he, Yeah, he's good. I got it. Good. No, he's short. Short. Mustard mouth. I got it. Nope, I don't. Yeah, you do. It's just not very big, I don't think. No, nah, it's another small trout. There you go. Killing it. In the mud hole, man. In the mud hole. Caught my limit one time. In the mud hole. Been about an hour, but I'm sort of rigged up here. talk about today's setup you see right there I got a one odd owner circle hook um, I got a Cajun Thunder popping cork I'm getting a mud minnow out of the bucket so we got the mud minnow from Hadrill's which is a local bait shop and I'm just taking the circle hook I'm gonna run it through both lips of the mud minnow make sure I don't go through the head too far um, they're really resilient they're an awesome bait to use you can use a multiple fish sometimes and everything in the ocean pretty much likes them on the line, we got 20 pound Power Pro Moss Green Braid, a seven foot rod. It's a pin rod with a uh, pin slammer, 3,500. And on top of the cork, I'm running about five or six inches a liter before the braid. That'll help keep it from getting tangled. And then 18 to 24 inches of just of 20 pound fluorocarbon. There it is. <laughs> Instant. Instant, man. <laughs> this might be... It's a red on the... Say what? It's a red fish on the... I don't think so. Another trout. Watch the hook. Ooh. Nice. Let's see what he is. Oh boy. Let's not get that in the YouTube channel. Is it long enough? I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah, he's definitely long enough. Got one? 
Yeah. Not very big. Matter of fact, real small. There you go. Should be just a baby one. See the tide's coming in. Yeah. So does that mean more fish come in with it? Yeah, they usually come in and chase the bait. That's how it works. I missed the whole thing though. That's all right. There you go, man. That's a, that's a mammoth, son. <laughs> all right. We ended up keeping this fish. But there's a new initiative called Release 20, and I encourage everyone that catches a trout over 20 inches to release it. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught. That's a that's a good fish. It's a really good fish. Killing them in this mud hole. Yeah, really. Killing them. Hopefully my mud minnow survived that. Dude, that one you caught is a freaking hoss. Sam's over here catching gators. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. You don't want to do that. You're going to break off on the oysters. The boat flip. <laughs> Killing it. Out here in the streets. <laughs> Literally in the street. Yes. It's true to that. I mean, there are fish down here, right? Like, there's yours. Yours is down. Yours is down. Yours is down. <laughs> That's a really big one. I say that and it might not be. It looks decent. <laughs> Complete professional fisherman. Not a single, not a single redfish. I'm an amateur, man. All right, hold on. Three. So you want to take, you want to grab it closest as you can and turn it up and out. Okay. <laughs> Another trout. That's a small one, I'd say. Yeah. That's a different species. Is it? I think so. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever caught a weak fish. There we go, guy. I think he's. See how he doesn't have spots all the way? Yeah. So that's a different one. That's actually like a. Either a weak fish or a different kind. Here, hold that real quick on the middle. Yeah. Yeah, he's short. Short. Throw him back. You can hear that we're right by the road in the mud hole. So there's a lot of fish being chased over here. We see mullet. Might throw over there. Caught a lot of a lot of trout today. Sam's over here killing me. He's just being modest. He was to put in a door. Oh, yeah. It'd be good if you didn't cuss on my YouTube channel, Sam. That's a good fish. 
There you go. Another decent trout. That's a, I'd say that's a keeper. He's got some, this thing's got some super fangs. Things are gnarly looking. Can you get it out? Yeah. Watch yourself. I think he's. He's long enough? I think so. It's gonna be. Uh, I don't think he's long enough, man. Oh, yeah. He's almost 15. So you don't even have enough to eat. Hey, man, is your uh, kid friendly or what? Dude? Say what? Is kid friendly or what? What's that? Oh, I don't, I, it's definitely not for kids. Disclaimer, YouTube channel is not for kids. I don't know, don't worry about me. I'll just clear out all the little fish so you can catch the decent ones. Thanks, thanks. See that? Oh, he came off. That thing was tiny. I did. There we go. Now we're cooking with fire. <laughs> Dude, just let me touch the rod every time you catch it. Another trout. That's another nice fish. With the mud on it. Oh. I got the rod. All right, that's another nice trout. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. You got it? So there you go. Trout. Saltwater trout with the fangs. Yeah, it's 15 inches right there. That's just that's 16 inches, dude. Yours is way bigger. Is it? Yeah. Thank you guys for checking out this week's video. I've thrown in some bonus footage here of me catching a couple flounder in the mud hole and some artificial lures. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Find me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll see you guys next Friday at noon. Until then, keep fishing. Opening night. Z Man's got a flounder. Big flounder! Big old flounder! Definitely a keeper. Hey -o. <laughs> Flounder on the easy shrimp. Goodness.